Hello and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea with me Victoria. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for clicking on to watch my video. I have just reached 200 subscribers and I am so absolutely thrilled. Thank you to each and every one of you who subscribe to my videos. I really appreciate all of your support. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all of the ongoing support and remember to give this video a like. My theme today is very unicorn related, as you can see by the unicorn Christmas tree and my unicorn tears mug with a delicious cup of tea in. So I am going to be building a DIY brine shrimp tank. So you can follow this video to do your own at home and you can use brine shrimp or you can use sea monkey eggs. Although I would recommend putting in multiple packets of sea monkey eggs rather than just the one packet. I'm using brine shrimp as opposed to sea monkeys because it's easier to get hold of large numbers of eggs. So this is something that's been on the cards for a while and I know it's been very well requested so I hope everyone who has requested this video enjoys it and there's enough information in it. The only thing I haven't put in it is how to make the water up but if you do want to see a video on setting up how to measure out the water of the reef salt um, I'm happy to do that in the future but I use um, instant ocean reef salt and RO water to make up my salt water. So yeah, it's a unicorn mermaidy themed tank, absolutely princess pink, overwhelmingly pink tank. So I really hope you enjoy the video and don't get put off by all of the pinkness. Um, I am a little bit of a fan of pink, uh, if you couldn't already tell. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's today's video. I hope you enjoy it and um yeah enjoy the diy brine shrimp tank thank you very much for watching cheers ah. so this is the tank that i'm going to be setting up this is a um old tank that i've got and i'm going to be making it into a diy sea monkey colony so the first thing first, I'm going to add the gravel to the tank. So I have two different types of gravel. I have the small pink stone and I have the princess mix, which is pink and purple. Yes, it's actually called the princess mix. So before anything goes into the tank, it is always important to wash them. So I'm just using a warm shower head and a clean bucket to rinse them out. You can see the water comes off quite pink. So I repeat this process numerous times and then also leave them to soak for a while. So you can see them here and they are in the tank. So there is a smaller layer at the front and a deeper layer at the back to add some depth and a better perspective. So now I'm going to set up the Delta Therm heater I have. So this is the Delta Therm 25 watt heater that I use in my tank. So I use these in all of my tanks. You can get different sizes for different tanks. And this is the one I'm going to be using today. I absolutely love them and I've had no problems with them at all. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. So everything you need is included, including these stickies to stick it to the back. So it's really easy to use. There is a dial at the top so you can adjust the temperature. And I'm going to set mine at 27 degrees Celsius. So I've stuck that on the back at an angle like you're supposed to and the cable is trailing over the back. Um, it's important not to dry run those so don't plug it in and turn it on yet So I'm adding some decorations now So this is a castle that I got from pets at home that I'm going to be adding into the tank So I've got no real plan. I'm just fiddling about with things and seeing how it works I do apologize for the views of the back of my head and seeing all my ginger hair um, I did try to stay out of the camera way, but that's a little bit tricky due to the positioning of the shelf and where everything is. So the next ornament, again also from Pets at Home, is a unicorn seahorse. I do love how many different ornaments they do these days and how much choice there is. So you can really personalise your tank. So make sure you rinse everything before it goes into the tank, just to make sure there's no dirt and debris on them. And so you're making the best tank possible 
So there are a couple of things you need to be uh, wary of in the tank, that is plants and the gravel to make sure the sea monkeys or brine shrimp don't get trapped underneath them. So I'm going to be keeping a close eye on them. This is a plant that I used in a previous brine shrimp tank and they did get caught in the leaves. So be really careful with what you put in. So plants like this would be unsuitable due to the amount of spiky bits on them and it would be really easy for the sea monkeys or brine shrimp uh, depending on what you choose to get caught in them so you need things with broader flatter leaves and flowery bits rather than being very spiky so something like this is what I'm going to be trying where you've got the broader flatter leaves so if I do notice any problems with any of the flowers they will be taken out immediately because sea monkeys are living animals at the end of the day and it's about what's doing doing what's right for them rather than the aesthetic. So I'm trying these to start with and if there is any problems they will be removed. So they all, everything I've got in, I haven't purchased anything specifically, it's all just things that I've had lying around in my aquarium box. Um, I've picked out things that really match the princess unicorn pink aesthetics, if you can already tell, I really like pink. <laughs> um, so I've got another purple plant going in there. So I'm just wedging it in the gravel to secure it. And just fiddle about with placement and use the gravel to secure things in place like so so you don't need lots of decorations you don't really need any decorations or gravel but it is nice to have some decorations for them to swim around um, I don't think they're really bothered by decorations but it is nice for you aesthetically and it gives them something more interesting than an empty tank although as I said do be careful with tank decorations to make sure that they aren't going to harm your sea monkeys. So that's another plant just gone in. So there's only a few more bits that I'm going to add to this tank so I don't want it to become too crowded. I've got some seashells just from a bag of shells that I have. So I'm going to add a cockle shell just for a little bit of decoration, just for something different. So here's the cockle shell that I'm adding into the tank like so and also i'm adding a snail like shell um like the ones you can hear from if i actually manage to put it in front of the camera properly for you to see i'm going to make sure this is face down so no sea monkeys swim inside of it and get trapped because it is really important you do think about the health of your animals and not just aesthetics when designing a tank so one more thing that I am going to add into the tank is a little cute little shell just to add something in the foreground a little bit that says let's be mermaids. Um, so this is the shell here, it's very shiny and very very pretty. So that's going to go in the front of my tank and I'm just wedging the base of it in the gravel so it sits flush against the bottom glass of the tank. Like so. Again, I really apologise for all of the shots of my hair and the back of my head in this. So one more really exciting thing that I'm absolutely thrilled I found to put in this tank is the unicorn sparkles. So these are some gravel that are gold, pink and orange, as you can see, just to add a little bit of magic and a little bit of sparkle to the tank. So I'm just sprinkling these in now. You should be able to see that up on camera. There's some really nice gold coming through coming through the um, rocks. So there we go. That is the decoration aspect of my tank complete. So we've got the heater, we've got the gravel and we have the ornaments. So the next things we need are water, an airline, eggs and to turn the heater on and then it will all be set up so I'm going to move on to that it's really simple to do so I am using salt water that is mixed at 35 parts per thousand that is instant ocean reef salt and I'm going to be popping that into my tank so one way of filling up a tank that makes it a little bit easier than just pouring water directly in is using something like a cup or a plate to pour the water onto. So I have a 
little dish that I'm going to use here. So it is clean. So I'm going to pour the water into that and let it overflow out of that rather than hitting the gravel directly and throwing the gravel all over the place. So I've just popped that in the middle of the tank and popped it between the ornaments there. So I'm going to fill that up. So the first lot of salt water is now going in. So this is the first 10 litres, you can see, just pouring it into the cup and letting it slowly overflow out. So you can, as I say, you can do this with a plate or any sort of cup or anything like that, as long as it is clean and not covered in soap or anything like that, because you don't want soap or debris going into your tank. Because you've got to think living creatures are going to be in here and it is really important for their health not to put salt or you could kill not to put salt not to put soap or anything like that because it can harm them so that's the first 10 liters of water now in the tank so i've got some more additional water that i'm now pouring in I've just got a clean jug of it and I also have another big container of water. I always have loads of containers of water everywhere. So it is salt water because that's what brine shrimp live in. They live in salt water. So you do want salty conditions to sort of match ocean salinity, which is 35 parts per thousand, which you can measure with a hydrometer or a refractometer. Um which are really easy to get hold of. I've got a hydrometer that I will be popping in the tank later. So our tank is now full of water. So we are ready to add the eggs, which is super, super exciting. So um, just take the dish out like so. And the castle is bobbing a little bit so what i'm doing here is just removing some trapped air because that's what happens and just fill it back up with water and sink it down just so it doesn't bob around and that it is secure in place in the aquarium so the heater is now running it is turned on you can see the orange light and i'm now adding some artemia eggs which are the brand hobby so I'm pouring these in the top of the tank. You can use sea monkey eggs, but if you are using sea monkey eggs, I would recommend using quite a few packets to make sure there are enough in your tanks. That came out a little bit fast, but you can see the big brown cloud of hundreds of thousands of eggs all uh, floating around in the tanks. So they will spread out and settle, and hopefully within 24 to 48 hours they will hatch. You can see the hydrometer floating there just to double check what the salinity of the water is. But it looks about right, so that's all good. So now I need to go ahead and set up the airline. So the airline I'm using is a USB powered airline, which you can get off Amazon, off eBay. This one is green. I have ordered a pink one specifically for this tank. However, it hasn't arrived yet and I wanted to get this video on the go so I'm using this one for now with an airline and an air stone that I've pre-soaked in water for an hour so all you need to do is just pop this in the tank and turn it on it's really simple and easy to do you can add splitters and things like that and an air control valve but I found that um, because it's a very small pump it doesn't pump too much so I don't need to release any of the air from it so I'm going to go ahead and set this up to my smart home system and turn it on. And then we will see some really nice bubbles flowing in the water. That is really good for airflow. So that is now running. You can see the bubbles at the top. The water looks really brown and cloudy from all of the eggs, but hopefully they will hatch soon and I will share some updates with you. So... That was my DIY brain trim tank setup. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications to be notified when I post future videos, which at the moment is once every Sunday with occasional videos in between. I hope you have enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you've got any video requests, 
or anything you would like me to film, please let me know down below. Any Sea Monkey FAQs? I'm hoping to make another FAQ video. So if you've got any questions about Sea Monkeys, please let me know down in the comments below and I will answer them in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. That's all for me from now. That's all from me for now. Thank you very much and cheers.